Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin. And let me tell you, I've been waiting for like 30 minutes for the rain to finally stop because you can hear it on the roof. And I'm like, well, I'm not sure it's ever going to stop. So I need to get this shipping done. Y'all, this was an unbelievable weekend. And it's all because of you guys. And I appreciate it so much. So much I can't even express it. And I just want to run some numbers to give you an idea. Now keep in mind, I do a little bit of early shipping on Saturdays now. So we shipped out seven things, not to viewers, and then, I don't know, a handful of Inaman, five or six Inaman. And we've already done that. And we had a wonderful weekend. We went to a wedding, and we just hung out as a family, and it was awesome. And I just see these sales just rolling in just every few seconds. So I'm like, this is insane. And almost every one was to a viewer. So let me run these numbers by real quick. All right, here you go. And I'm not even sure this counts the Homeschool Hustler store sales or not. And there are two in there. Actually, I take it back. There's two on my list from there, but there's actually four in there. And I know two of those four are to viewers as well. So 58 sales. 58 sales. This is with shipping seven out yesterday. 58 sales. And out of those 58 sales, 38 of them are to viewers. Okay, so it would have been counting yesterday's sales and the typical non-viewer sales. They would have been 28 sales on a weekend or 27 sales on a weekend, which is great. That's like just a tiny bit more than we typically do and a great weekend. But this is crazy. So here's the deal. 32 Enemann sold and six other sales to viewers. Actually, a lot of these will end up on tomorrow's show. I'm not going to be able to get through all this today. Plus, I can't imagine how long the video would go if I'm reading all the animates. So we're going to pick a few out, read some today. We'll pick a few out tomorrow, the next day. I'm going to try to get all those thank yous. I know I've had a lot of people send me a message. Hey, you didn't uh, read my message and whatever. I'm doing the best I can. If it appears on the messaging system, I try to get to it. If it doesn't, it might uh, fall through the cracks. So you have my apologies. But those sales are insane. Absolutely insane. And I just want to take a minute just to say thank you. And you guys literally have changed our lives. The anime and all this stuff just blows my mind every day that I wake up. And I thank you very, very much. And I'm going to get emotional, so let's see what's sold. All right, this an L.L. Bean shirt, it has been in the store for a while. And I like them, you know, made in the USA, L.L. Bean here. And I look for colors like this, either at the thrift stores, you know, Goodwill. But this one I think I bought at a, it doesn't have a little hole where they put the little tag through it, so... I think I remember what sale I bought this one at, and I think it was a dollar. And I bought another one very similar to it that sold really quickly, and this one took a little longer. So this isn't exactly red and green, but it has a little red in it and a little green. And I look for those because they sell during the winter time, and I'll even put like Christmas colors in the title. And these usually sell in the winter, so or fall. And this one sold. I think I paid a dollar for it. It sold for twenty-five dollars plus shipping, and I pick these up all the time. I'll even pay at the Goodwill, I'll pay, you know, full price for these things, but I try and find them at garage sales. All right, here is one of those viewer sales, and there were many for sure. These are three of the Left Behind series books, and Matthew Bottom, he says, quite literally here, the exact three I was looking for to make a set. So thank goodness I don't need the bookends. <laughs> I take pictures with bookends, y'all. I told you this the other day if you were watching, and I had those brass ducks and then I sold the brass ducks so I decided I was going to grab these from my classroom my grandmother who passed away uh, years ago bought me these I think she bought them for me as a graduation gift from college I think is where she bought them because we were in a mall together and I had uh, looked at them and I really liked them I love blue obviously and she picked those up for me and so I brought them home from school thinking, you know what, I know I won't sell those and I won't be without some bookends in here. But I do that. Whenever I set those up for pictures, I always put bookends. It just makes the listing stand out a little bit. And I thought that blue color might do as well. That's what he's referring to right there. He says, I'm glad I don't need the bookends because I already sold them. At any rate, these sold for $9 plus shipping. And Matthew, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Those I picked up in a lot. So I bet I'm not into them for no more than a quarter for sure all right another viewer gift this is an interesting combo i like to pick these bibles up whenever i can i was out with my uncle at a garage sale that you'll see at some point it was a church uh, sale and we'll probably put that one on later on in the fall or maybe even the winter time and i found this actually he found the bible and he's like hey you want this and i'm like yeah this thing looks nice and so it was in a big bundle as well 
and then an Ann Murray cassette tape. I like Ann Murray. I'm not a I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I don't know why I like Ann Murray. Actually, I do know why. My mom used to listen to Ann Murray, so I like Ann Murray. It's brand new in the uh, packaging, and it is greatest hits. And these were bought together, twenty eight dollars and ninety cents plus shipping. And these were also bought by a viewer. These were bought by Carol, and Carol has been watching the show a long, long time. She says, hi, Kevin. Found some more goodies. Thank you. Keep hitting those garage sales or yard sales. Still loving the videos. What will you do when yard sale season is over? <laughs> well, for one, I'll sleep in on Saturday mornings, and that'll be a welcome, welcome change. And two, I'm just going to source my death pile in there. Matter of fact, I answered this question on yesterday's video. Of course, you didn't know that when you bought these but uh, that's my answer and I go thrifting and there's a few people I wouldn't call them my guy like Lonnie but there's a few people around here that are resellers but sometimes they're getting so much merchandise in that they call me up and say hey can you alleviate some of this and help me get it moving and so I sometimes will source from them I also source from a couple of golf courses but pretty much the answer is I buy enough during garage sale season to stock up for the winter to uh, squirrel away those nuts for the winter time and we sell what we have all right i paused it but it is still pouring down rain out there which is kind of cool because you know the animals don't come knocking at my door every five seconds and i can actually get a little something done normally i have chickens wandering around out here the cats or whatever and they want in and today i don't so let's go check these last few items out really quick before we go on and pull a few more items from the ebay cave in there all right, first one should be, I think I put the last one of the orange ones, I think, right there. I don't know what we're going to call this. This is the Victoria shelf, I guess, or the uh, Georgia peach shelf right there. I guess it's the Georgia shelf. So ice cream, this is uh, another one of these sales, $1 buy, sold for $12.95 plus shipping, thanks to Blue Ridge Mama. And I think we're getting close to being out of that type and we're down to like seven or eight total of all the types left. So it's been a really, really good retail arbitrage item from Lowe's. All right, next item has been hanging around for a long time. You might have seen it in different videos over the past year and a quarter since I've been doing YouTube. It's been in the store for almost two years. All right, and it is these laces up here. This lace face, Snoopy lace face. And I bought these at an estate sale. It was an estate sale not too far up the road. It wasn't exactly a, a wealthy home by any stretch of the imagination, but it had some cool vintage stuff. These are made by Brookside, and I have sold. I bought two. I paid up for them in my mind. I was paying like two fifty a piece for them, which I was like, man, I'd love to get these things cheaper. But I bought three and sold the other two really quickly for around thirty dollars. And these were different. Those were like snap-on things. I can't remember how they were different, but they had Gonzo and a few different things. And this one sold, oh, it was Miss Piggy, I think is what it was. But these took forever to sell, and they sold for 20 bucks, free shipping. So, you know, we'll still make like $12 on them. But we made a lot better money on the other ones. But I'm happy they're gone, finally. And I love Snoopy. All right, last two items are from Keith from Minnesota. And if you watch the show, you know that Keith, every once in a while, comes on and, and buys something. And he loves cassettes. And so both of these buys go with that, the fact that he loves cassettes. And I love cassettes, too. I don't know what my problem is, but I just love buying them. I love selling them. I love listening to them. I just love them. Let's go take a look. All right, I think they should be back near the other one where the ice cream was, if I remember. Yep, there they are. All right, and this is something I pick up every once in a while when they're in really good condition. And this is a 24 cassette holder, the faux leather with the clip. And he bought that. And I have a few of these in my vintage antique booth, and they really don't sell very well. I thought they would sell a little bit better, but they don't sell terribly well. They occasionally sell, but I have found that it's easier to sell them on eBay. This sold for $17.50 plus shipping, and I put it out there at a competitive price, but the tray was in really good condition. A lot of times they're dirty and cracked. It has this tiny little hole right there, but other than that, it was in really good shape. And people like to have these old cassette holders, these in particular... But you would be surprised, vintage media cases, some of them sell pretty good. So $17.50 plus shipping on that one. And he got one more thing, which I think if I'm right, it's either, nope, it's going to be in the garage flips drawer, if I remember. It's right on top. There you go. And this is an old Sony Walkman. And this does not have a cassette player. Originally, I thought maybe that's why I bought it, but it is just a radio. 
And I bought this one at a sale for, I think, $2. And it was the same sale that I got that Dale Earnhardt shark tooth hat at right there. And a few other things. That was a really, really good deal. And this sold for $15 plus shipping. And we're going to put them together and send them off to Keith. Keith, we can't thank you enough. You have supported our show in so many ways. And you had a question for me, which I don't really want to answer, but I'm going to for you. All right, now it's even raining harder. All right, so here's what Keith says. He says, hi, Kevin, I'm finding awesome treasures in your store and I have a lot of cassettes and I love watching both of your channels. And he asked this question, where can I get the Inaman shirt? God bless you and your awesome family. Keith from Minnesota. So what I did was I made a mistake on a video and I, if you watch the Commonwealth Picker channel, I always put a little clip of myself at the end and I had done a clip that I was going to put on videos next month that I was wearing an Inaman shirt. And so I let the cat out of the bag because I attached it to a video that I thought was going to release later and then I released it earlier and I forgot that that was on there. That's what he's referring to. And I know some of you have seen it and I've seen that question before. The answer is not yet. Not yet. So, but you'll know. So thank you, Keith, as always. And we're going to ship it right off to you. All right, it's like clockwork once again here. This is, I don't even know what this is, Endless Performance Mascara. $10 free shipping, and I'm not even going to tell the story. I tell it every day. We're making about uh, six fifty dollars on this one right here. I take it back, we're making about five fifty dollars on that one right there. Another almost like clockwork here. <laughs> Under Armour shirt. Uh, you know, this is bread and butter stuff, so people are like, why do you sell stuff for $5? You know, I've said it a hundred times, I'll say it again. Around here... You have to be able to pick all kinds of stuff. You have to be eclectic because you're not going to find high-end merchandise all the time. You just don't find it. I live out in a rural area. I have to drive 30 minutes this way or 30 minutes that way to get to a city. And these cities aren't nearly the size of some of the cities that a lot of you may or may not live in. I think a lot of people who watch the show live in rural areas and they kind of like the show because of that. Because there's not a plethora of stuff out there that they can pick. So this is there's a fly in here too. Mm, flies killing me. Okay, this one uh, ten dollars plus shipping. Nothing amazing right here. But again, we'll make like seven dollars profit on it. So you know there's you know thirteen dollars profit right there. And we do this stuff all the time. And they're so so darn easy. I mean it's not that hard to make a hundred dollars profit every day selling nothing of any significant value at all. All right, here are the ones without any messages really quick. So a quick little thank you to all these folks here. Marsha, and I'm assuming they're all viewers, but there's a chance, you know, I sell some every once in a while to non-viewers, believe it or not, because I sold these things for years before I was ever on YouTube. Just never, obviously, in this kind of quantity. Marsha, Jamie, Kimberly, and Ron, thank you so much. Now, for the rest of them, I'm not going to read all 30 whatever sales there were. We're going to divide it up over the next few days. So hopefully, if you've bought one, you can hear your message at some point. I'll pick five or six or eight out today. But I'm going to send this back out to the Commonwealth Cabin. I'm going to get Turner out there and do a homeschool hustler store sale. And then we'll come back in here at the end of the video and we'll do just a, a bunch of messages and we'll read them. Some people don't like to sit around for all of those, but I feel like I need to give a thank you to all you folks out there who've been so kind to us. So we're going to do that in just a second, but we're going to head out in the Commonwealth Cabin first and then we'll come back out of here to do that. All right, we got a homeschool hustler store sale. Who's that? Um, Mickey. Yeah, it's a Kohl's Care Mickey with the tag, and it still doesn't sell for very much. They don't really go for that much. But I paid 50 cents, and it sold for five sixty-five plus shipping, just enough profit for Turner to do what? Save a dollar, donate a dollar, and spend a dollar. <laughs> you got it, bud. And do you know who this is right here? Um, Smurfs. It's no, <laughs> yeah, it's a good guess though. That's uh, Lilo and Stitch right there. That's Stitch, and that's been a long time since you see. It's like the Hawaii movie before Moana. <laughs> it's the one before Moana for Disney. So, anyway, you know how much this one sold for? Twenty dollars plus shipping. I picked it up for a buck. So I like that one. So you're gonna make some money on this, and I'm gonna make some money on this one. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye. I forgot to mention. Turner forgot to mention. <laughs> my fault. That the Mickey is going out to Katie and Nick, going out to a couple of viewers, and it's going to their nephew as a birthday present. So thank y'all so much. We hope he enjoys. All right, so this one is going out to James. He says, I'm a faithful viewer and have been crushing eBay sales lately since New York continues to be shut down. Your videos help me grow as a reseller. Thank you for the content. Thank you, James. We appreciate it. 
All right, this one's going out to Stephanie. Thanks again for taking time out of your busy schedule to film these videos and help us all see items to be on the lookout for or to not be on the lookout for, to be honest with you. Some of you should not be looking for ashtrays. You should not be selling Tupperware. You should be selling things in your area that can bring you a little bit more money. But thank you. That's very kind of you. I like to unwind after a long day with your videos. Stephanie from Georgia. So thanks so much. Hey, this one is to Richard and haven't heard from Richard in a while, so it's nice to see you, Richard. I have been watching for a long time and will be up, headed up to your way to Liberty. I think your son, I think is what the story was, goes to Liberty or at least went to Liberty. Have been planning to get one of these for my eBay shop shed cabin. Thanks for all you do, Richie. So thank you. We appreciate it. All right, this one's headed out to Adam. Adam was going to be my name, actually, but my grandmother, the one I was talking about earlier... Uh, who has passed away now um, for, for quite some time. She didn't really like the name Adam. And she told that to my mom. And so I became Kevin. At any rate, love watching your YouTube channel, Adam in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We just started reselling in our own channel. We are Pittsburgh Picker. So there's Pittsburgh, which I've talked about before on the show, Anthony. So this is Pittsburgh Picker on YouTube. And our eBay store is Mickey's Warehouse. We want to put an in a man in our eBay room. So that's awesome. Thank you, Adam, and best of luck to you on eBay and on YouTube. Appreciate it. This one's going out to Kathleen, and she just says, love the channel. Thanks for the great content. So uh, Katie, Katie, thank you. We appreciate it. All right, this one is headed out to Kyle. He says, bottom of the barrel, oh no. Bought one of these a while back, and it seems like ever since I've gotten lucky with my sales and growing my business. In an effort to be greedy, I'm hoping the second in a man will take it to the next level, your level. I'll tell you what, y'all, I've said this before. Other than the viewer sales, I have sold more in the past than I do now. And I'll tell you what, I would much rather obviously do this. Um, because I'm interacting. You know, one thing I'm going to miss when the Animan are gone, and, and we're trying to figure out a way to continue this, is this interaction. You know, you get to look at me and see me every day, and so I feel like you guys know me and my family, and you're a part of my family, but I don't get to do that with y'all, unless you're on Instagram, and then sometimes I do, but I feel like there's a connection that when I read these, I get to know who's watching a little bit, so that's awesome. At any rate, thanks for the tips and tricks. Keep the content coming. If you could please sign it, uh, we'd appreciate it. So, yeah, we will definitely do that. Buckeye Resale. Must be Ohio. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to do one more really quick. I wasn't going to do one more. I was going to push it back. But I think I, I read quick enough. We'll throw one more in here. Kevin, I love watching your videos. Lots of great content. Thought I'd better jump in with the Inaman bandwagon before it's too late. I dabble in a little bit of eBay selling, but I mainly have booths at a local vendor malls as well as Monday night online auctions on Facebook. RMK Online Auction is the site. My business name is Carrying On Mom's Legacy. My sweet mom sold vintage and antique items before she passed away almost 13 years ago. So I thought it was a fitting name, and it definitely is. Keep up the great content, Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much. That's an awesome message, and he is headed your way. Appreciate it. All right, so we're going to call it a night from in here, and we can't wait to see you all tomorrow. hope everything's going well for you all out there, and we'll see you next time.